I watch adverts in the day. I'm going to stop doing that. OK? Uh, they're aimed at people who watch TV in the day. I hope I'm not one of those people. <laughs> a lot of bloated women seem to be watching TV. <laughs> Activia yoghurt. That's the solution. <laughs> this advert starts with a woman. She's obviously in discomfort. She's not happy. You can see. She walks along like this. Oh, she's not happy. Not happy. Oh. She looks at the camera to confirm it. Oh. <laughs> Then she has an Activia yoghurt, which is fine. <laughs> Smile on her face, quite light on her feet. <laughs> Opens the front door, lovely sunny day, begins her day. All because of Activia. <laughs> of course, what this advert's missed out is an enormous shit in the middle of her body. <laughs> it's completely inaccurate advertising. <laughs> this ad should just be her emerging from the loo going, Jesus Christ! <laughs> Children, do not go in there. Something's happened to Mummy. After her Activia yoghurt. Ser I'm serious, children. Just will brush your teeth at school today. That really was quite something. I'm going to weigh myself. That was an unbelievable occurrence. Thank you, Activia. There's something called a Snuggie. They advertise, you see this? This is a blanket that you wear, OK? People who are watching television in the day are spending so much time doing nothing that they're wearing blankets. <laughs> it is a blanket with sleeves, so you can easily access things without having to ever take the blanket off you. That's just chilly. You would free yourself. No, be in bed at all times. <laughs> Lying on your DFS sofa, I assume. <laughs> your Activia yoghurt. <laughs> Listening to Michael Bublé. He's, he's advertised all day as well. Daytime viewers love Bublé. A lot of chafing as well, chafing gel. <laughs> yeah. This advert is just a woman jumping. She's jumping, and you can clearly see that her legs are nowhere near one another. Because chafing is, is basically, I think, it's when your legs rub against each other. Yeah? I think the advice is probably, if you lose weight, your legs will separate and work as independent things from one another. No, this is not the advice. The advice is to lubricate the area so they can slide against each other as you walk in your Snuggie to the fridge to get your Activia yoghurt and then return to your DFS sofa and continue listening to Michael Bublé. <laughs> Tenor Lady as well. I didn't know what it was. I had to Google it. <laughs> Women are pissing in their pants. Is it, is it a condition? Is it voluntary? Are they so comfortable in their snuggies? Lying on their DFS sofa, their favourite Bublé track hasn't come on yet. I'm dying for a pee. I don't need to get up, thanks to my tenor lady. I can just pee here on the sofa. The loo's out of bounds anyway after the Activia situation of half an hour ago. Is this really what's going on? These bloated, chafing, snuggy wearing DFS sofa lying Bublé listeners surrounded by gold they haven't been bothered to cash yet? Is this what's going on? What is it with the gold? Is it news to people that gold is a commodity? <laughs> Are people sitting there going, you're telling me this bullion is actually worth something? <laughs> Give me an extra Snuggie. I'm going to go out and sell this. <laughs> Please don't think I'm being unnecessarily rude here. Uh, these people are only there because they've had an accident at work. <laughs> That's what's led them to this unfortunate situation. I quite like the accident at work one. We, we enjoy that as a family. When, when, when the, you can see the wet floor, but she can't. She's walking in. <laughs> oh. <laughs> or the one that goes, and they gave me the wrong type of ladder. <laughs> I think if your job involves going up ladders, select your own ladder. <laughs> I'd like a ladder, please. I, I don't trust my own judgment in ladder selection. If you could pick whatever ladder you see fit for the task. The one with wheels? Yes, I'll take this ladder. <laughs> ah! 